Think how much better crack the Olympics would be if nobody had a chance to train. So this is our approach. <laughs> and it's gonna be our Halloween challenge. So last year we did this challenge, except I was on a penny farthing bike on my own, and it was from Holt Hill to Hill 16. So this year we're gonna sort of take in the south side and go from Hill 16, where we finished last year, to Bray Hill, uh, but we're doing it in tandem. He seized on an opportunity basically to embarrass me in Lycra on a bike. This is revenge for the stick I gave him last year, to be honest. So it's twice the distance, and uh, twice the amount of people doing it. We've added 50% with Jim, uh, and it's all for Jack and Jill again. I mean, Jack and Jill, it's just, it's such a great charity. When kids are involved, obviously, it, 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 you know, it really hits home. Last year, when PJ did the cycle on the penny farthing, and they, they managed to reach kind of, you know, record highs in terms of the number of kids and families that they were able to help, and it just, you know that it's kind of really worthwhile, you know, it's really worth doing. And then you get to meet some of the people, you get to meet some of the families, some of the kids, like we met Willow today, and it's, you know, it just makes it worthwhile. Anybody can take part in the hill challenge. You can walk up a, a mole hill, you can build your own hill, you can climb an actual hill, you can climb a mountain, anything you can do to help Jack and Jill would be fantastic. And if you can't do your own challenge, support ours, we'd love to have you.